Welcome back to Rapid Ghost. In this first video of section 4, we are going to learn about ghost themes. By the end of this video, you will understand how ghost themes work and will be prepared to take your blog to the next level. The more you know about how ghost themes work, the more cool things you will be able to do with your blog. So we're going to learn about the files and structure that make up a ghost theme. Ghost themes utilize a templating engine called Handlebars. Let's learn a little bit about Handlebars by checking out their homepage. Let's navigate to handlebarsjs.com. When you get there, scroll down to the Getting Started section. Here it says Handlebars templates look like regular HTML with embedded Handlebars expressions. So this means we can mark up our ghost templates like regular HTML and introduce variables that Ghost provides using handlebar expressions. That is all you really need to know about handlebars for now. When we look at some of the markup in a Ghost theme, we will learn about the variables that Ghost makes available to us via handlebars. The next thing we're going to do is open our Ghost blog directory and navigate to Content, Themes, Casper. Casper is the default theme that ships with Ghost. We are going to take a look at the files that make up Casper to help us learn how a ghost theme works. As we see in the root directory, there are a bunch of .hbs files. That is the extension for Handlebars template files. Default.hbs contains the footer and header of our template. Index.hbs is the home page of our blog. Post.hbs contains the template for a single post and tag.hbs creates a list of posts by tag. Under the assets directory, there is a CSS directory for our style sheets, fonts for fonts and icons, and JS for all of our JavaScript code. Although it's not mandatory, this is the layout that Ghost suggests you use for your themes. Let's go back to the index of Casper and open up default.hbs. This is the file that holds the header and footer for our theme. As you can see, the code in my editor has many different colors. This just makes it easier to read the code. At the top, we have all of our meta information, followed by the links to our style sheets, the footer, and finally our JavaScript files included at the bottom. These things wrapped in the double curly braces are the handlebars expressions. The handlebars expressions are not standard HTML. So we can see that they are colored differently than other parts of the markup in my code editor. The expressions that you notice in light gray that start with curly brackets followed by an exclamation point are comments in handlebars. These allow us to make notes in our code without them being output on our website. The body tag outputs our different page templates for the home page, tags page, and blog article pages. To see what I mean, let's open up index.hbs from the Casper directory. At the top of the file, we see that everything in this file is inserted in the body of the default.hbs template. Loop is a partial that outputs all of our blog posts. Let's open partials and loop.hbs to learn how it works. The for each handlebar expressions loop through and outputs the code in between for every post. Inside of the loop, we have access to post variables like the URL, title, and post excerpt. So with a few basic handlebars expressions and some good old-fashioned HTML and CSS, we have the makings of a ghost theme. If you're going to create your own theme, you should refer to the ghost documentation to get more details. Now we have a better idea of what a ghost template looks like and how it works. This is important to be familiar with when we install comments and Google Analytics into our themes. In the next video, we will browse through some nice free and premium themes and find one that's perfect for our blog. 